uh, this Saturday. So that's something new, something old. Hey, Arco. And uh, we say goodbye. Great Don't forget, memories. 10 to noon this Saturday. Uh, you and I will be broadcasting and uh, helping everybody say goodbye to uh, the old barn itself. Mm -hmm. And a lot, a lot, a lot of memories there. What We talked to Jerry Reynolds yesterday. Mm -hmm. Another guy who's got a lot of memories of this place. An old, old friend. One of those folks that anytime he's on air, you hear him, whether it's on TV, radio, wherever. Anytime you hear his voice, you automatically just start smiling. The one, the only, the coach himself, Gary St. Jean. Gary, I'm Dave. You know Jason Ross real well. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. How are you? Well, guys, happy St. Patrick's Day to you. <laughs> it's a big day for you, St. <laughs> Yes, it is. March Madness, and we're going to have some green beer and have a great day. Yes. A little corned beef, too. Yeah, you corned beef guy, Coach? Oh, yeah, I love it. With the cabbage and the uh, carrots and all uh, that good stuff. My wife is an O'Sullivan, my wife MJ, mm, so it's a big day. Mm. Well, it's a big day this Saturday. We're saying goodbye yeah. to Arco. Uh, we, you, you heard in the intro, I'm sure. A uh, lot of memories, uh, lifetime Kings fans. Uh, we all know the ups and downs. You certainly do. Uh, a lot of, lot of, lot of not great memories. I'm sure we've all had in that barn, but you've been through some wonderful ones too, Coach. Well, you know what, guys? I'm older than you, and I remember when they were the Kansas City Kings, mm -hmm. and I was coaching in Milwaukee with Nelly, and we'd come down there, and then we were told, "Hey, the team's going to Sacramento." Long story short, we go there and. First couple of years, we played in what I think was uh, AT&T uh, or a, a big old place that uh, they converted for us, sat about 8,000. Then Arco gets built, and we come up there. And, and the fun thing was, whether I was in Milwaukee or been with the Warriors, came up there, and after the game, you'd take off in the bus. The vendors would bring you out what's leftover hot dogs and popcorn. <laughs> the people were phenomenal. And, and I remember we beat the, the old Kings in their first year in that AT&T place by 50. Mm. Mm. And the fans stand, stood up and gave the Kings guys a standing ovation for two minutes. I, I just, you know what it is, guys? It, it, it's, you know, I've been in a lot of arenas. It's the people. Yeah. It really is. I, I tell you what, I have such great memories of all the people up there. You know, we call it the, the skeleton crew, the guys that change over the arena if there's a concert. Those guys were great guys. Security guys. Ernie was a great guy. We had a cookie lady. We had a lady who made us cookies once a month. Of course, I took all the chocolate chip ones before <laughs> the team got them. We had a popcorn guy. Every time I'd walk back to my car, I'd be feeling a little down after getting our keisters whipped. That guy would come out with a giant bag of popcorn for me for my kids, Emily and Greg. I mean, I just, the guys who took care of the, the exterior of the building. They were the nicest fellas. So the building itself, you know what I remember, guys, being upstairs on the second floor in the offices and looking out where they were potentially going to build the baseball. Remember that? They yeah. were going to build the baseball uh, yep. stadium there. You know, it was a good run, but what a and, – and you know what? Uh, you know, after I left, what a, what a great run that uh, Jeff Petrie put together with Rick Adelman and, you know, with Webb and – Peja and, and all those guys, uh, it, it just, Vade, uh, I just uh, have great, great memories. My wife and I said that uh, those five years up there coaching the Kings were as much fun as we've, you know, there was few, few losses, but I'll tell you what, it was the people. We had such a great, great time. Well, and I think about this, Coach, for you, it, you know, as one of the few coaches that coached the Kings that got them to the playoffs, I think about for yeah. you in the 95-96 season, mm -hmm. Uh, breaking through, getting to the postseason, and what's to me is one of the great Arco memories. It's series tied at one after you beat Seattle up in Seattle, and you guys come home for game three. Yeah. Uh, that's I've never seen that. That ovation, like I think the fans got tired out for giving you guys the ovation before you took the floor. What are your memories of that night? And Jace, after we flew home, uh, probably one in the morning, uh, there had to be three hundred people out at the out at the airport, uh, just going crazy. And we landed and we said, holy moly. I mean, this is fantastic. And then pregame, just what you said, Jake, we're in the locker room, the coach's room, and somebody said, "What's what the heck's all that noise? <laughs> we opened up the door and we walked out and looked. And for, you know, the players go out for a 20-minute warm-up. The standing ovation for the whole 20 minutes. 
and and we get beat that first uh, the first game at home, and we really give them a great run in the second one. But Mitch Richmond got hurt mm-hmm. and uh, wasn't able to go. But uh, yeah, that was a great memory that, that we could take, and and uh, just just a lot a lot of fun. Coach Gary St. Jean joining us, and Coach, I'm I'm a native Sacramento, and I'm a lifer, and I. I I, I wonder if you can help quantify this. People try to put their fingers on why Kings fans and why this city is so special. And it's almost, it almost reminds me of a, of a family that they don't have the nicest house. They don't make the most money. Uh, they got a, a bunch of kids and maybe a grandma living with them. <laughs> they don't drive the nicest car. But when you step in and you smell what's cooking for dinner, whatever they could cobble together, and the, the love and the atmosphere, it, it, it's just through the roof. I always felt like the thing you can't put your finger on here, whether it's a college mentality, a college yeah. town, whatever it is, there's that, that special thing Sacramento has that most, if not any other NBA cities do. I love that. Well said. That yeah. that was terrific. I, I I I applaud you. That that's <laughs> awesome. That, you know, uh, we felt that way living there. That, that we were up in Granite Bay, and uh, you know, we we just said, "What a fan!" And we still to this day feel this way. What a fantastic way to a place to raise your family. Uh, our kids, gee, we we just loved it up there. I I remember doing my morning radio show, driving the kids to carpool uh, to St. Rose there in, in uh, Roseville. And uh, I'd, I'd have the kids on the radio yelling and all that kind of thing. And, just, you know, just great, great memories. So you'd come out and you'd go get gas and everybody would be saying hi to you. You'd go to Safeway or Raley's, people would be saying hi to you. You know, just and, – and some days I said maybe I'd be better off, you know, being the guy doing the produce section. I'll tell you guys, you do you guys remember – this is now – boy, when I was there, there weren't a lot of buildings uh, right. around Arco. I think you guys remember that. Yeah. There, was, there was a guy who had a herd of sheep. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> I got to know that guy. I'd wave to him every day. And uh, one day I stopped the car and I said, hey, I got a deal for you. I said, you let me handle the sheep and you coach our game tonight against the Lakers. <laughs> you didn't take and your opponent? <laughs> he, t- he turned me down. He said, you go in there. You, you go in there and play against Shaq. The heck with that. That's hilarious. I, Good stuff. I, I think about that too. Say you've always been such a people person, but it was there to, to Sacramento's credit, but maybe to its detriment at times. Was it ever too much here? I mean, were they just no. hey, look? I'm just trying to have a little bit of time with my family. I mean, just I this that's no. the charm of the community, though. Too. Oh gosh, yeah. I mean, come on. That, that hey, that's what it's all about. How hard is it to say hello and how you doing and you're looking good today? Happy St. Patty's Day. That's not that hard. Yeah. Listen, you had a guy on yesterday that I love. I love Jerry Reynolds and uh, Scotty Sterling. Uh, mm-hmm. God rest his soul, passed away a couple years ago. Uh, we had great people up there. Jim Thomas, who had bought the team, uh, really a good owner, and. Uh, you know, it, no, I, I don't feel that way at all. I, I just think that, uh, it, you know what? The team was on the verge when I was there, when we had Brian Grant. I don't know if you guys remember. Yeah, After savior. the playoffs, he tore, he tore his, uh, his quad, uh, you know, the big muscle in the front of your leg. And he was a powerful young player. And, you know, with him and uh, Mitch, and we, we had a good crew, and I think we were ready to start to go. But, you know, you guys know this. You know, injuries – really really play a big part uh in in pro sports and in any sports and uh but it was great you know mitch and i talk still to this day about how much fun we had and and i can remember all those guys what a what a great group of guys they played hard guys there were no you know next to arco they built a practice facility you know where we practiced we practiced at the salvation army downtown (laughs) yeah and uh, you know it was pretty simple back then and and uh the, the plane was round ball one. That's when we were chartering. And uh, gosh darn, I, I, I thought because of that Thule fog, we had to land, I think, six times in one year. We landed down in in Oakland a couple times, maybe down in, was it Stockton? or Yeah, probably yeah. Stockton. Yeah, down there because the fog was so thick. We were just, I said, you know what? There's a curse over us. I, I don't know what the heck is going on, but uh, – no, you know what, guys? I'm thrilled you called because I, I, you're just making me smile today. I, I just feel terrific because those are great, great memories. And, guys, you know what? 
that building, that thing rocked. So yes. You guys remember the cow, the cowbells? Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes, we did. Hey, players and coaches didn't like those. Oh, I mean, if you were if you were coaching yeah. and you were and they were behind the bench, holy moly, was that loud? That was really cool. Coach, listen, thank you so much. We've been remembering and sharing memories and hearing memories from folks uh, like Jerry, as you mentioned, uh, all, all all week long, and, and we'll continue. We're going to commiserate with a lot of folks this Saturday, but that's a great. Folks like you uh, yeah. are are part of that fabric, that woven fabric that of uh, again going back of that uh, that 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 little two bedroom house we all fit in, uh, <laughs> and, and, and all loved and, uh, and and all bonded together. So thank you for everything you've ever done for us. Thank you for representing the city so well. We we we've so much appreciate your time. Well, hey guys, thanks a million for for including me, and and uh, I'm going to be thinking about you Saturday morning because I didn't know about this, and that's. Pretty sentimental. So you guys uh, keep it going and, and have a great St. Patty's Day. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's Coach St. Jean joining us. There's just some guys you talk to and you can't help but smile. Absolutely. And he's exactly where I could picture him pulling up to the guy who's herding the sheep like, oh, here's the deal. You let me do this for a day. You coach against <laughs> right. the Lakers. I, I oh, guarantee he did that. Why didn't he take him up on it? That would have been awesome. Uh, more more on uh, Arco memories is uh, tomorrow Tomorrow is uh, Tisha Penichero. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. So we roll on the memory.